Dang camera, it messed up. It didn't want to focus at first, but there's three John Deere tracks tractors sitting back there. Ha! Huh. Well, we're off to go get a new thermostat for the 1990 because uh, evidently the thermostat's sticking and it's getting warm. And then as soon as it opens, it stays good, but the initial open just won't happen at a decent temp, so. Uh, gotta get the 90 going so we can uh, help my oldest move out today. She's moving in with her friend, I'll say that. <laughs> He's, um, well, yeah. Anyway, uh, so we're off to get apart. And, uh, we're gonna work on the 90, then we gotta do some moving. And, well, I'm glad I, uh, did everything outside that I wanted to do yesterday. Well, pretty much. I still can do what I want to do today. I'm gonna move all my rafters to a different spot. Dang camera. I really need to start using that other camera, but uh, move my rafters to another spot, and maybe build a temporary stand for them to be on and cover it with OSB so they quit getting wet or get them covered with something anyway. So, well, uh, yeah, day number two of the medicine. I got up late. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. I was up at seven o'clock and I fell back asleep and forgot to get up and yeah <laughs> uh, anyway oh shit I forgot to stop at hell just stop at this bank at the same bank so bite them uh, check from the truck stuff I gotta get cash so I can get my part so anyway I guess uh, all sorts to do today and now, call the guy I've been working for to let him know what's going on. And I think, see how I get through these next few days. I might be able to work part days out there and just go from there. Something's better than nothing, right? So, okay. Hey, when I was in at the bank, I asked how much rain we had. Uh, I guess we had around six tenths, so over a half inch rain last night. Thought it come down pretty good there for a while. So when I got up and walked out to the truck, I mean, uh, you could tell the street had been flooded with water and leaves. I had oh eight inches of leaves piled up behind all four tires, so that's the width of the truck out from the curb. So that was a lot of water. So yeah. I called the boss, he didn't answer. Left a message and told him I'd call him back here in a little bit. Cause when I'm over here in this town, my phone does not work. And I hate that with cell phones that don't work. I mean, it's a cell phone, it's supposed to work everywhere. But anyway. That medicine sure gets me wound up. I took that an hour and a half ago. And I can feel it already. It just like I want to smile and go. Just yeah. But uh, uh oh, there's an old uh, mock pirate ship right back in there. Well, hopefully, I got it in there. But it's leaning to one side. That's not good because that thing's on a track system in there. And every time it gets off the tracks, they gotta go put her back on. But all right, well, I'm gonna go get that part. I'm starting to uh, bounce inside here, so <laughs> uh... all right. Well, I finally, I thought I had that uh, oil filter wrench. Well, now I'm not bending like I used to to get on these. Uh, four-wheel drive oil filters like I used to like to get on with a ratchet and there's the thermostat well then a while back I said something about losing uh, one of my pocket knives and I found one similar to it nice little guy he's heavy the other one was lighter it was a Gerber knife that I lost that was all hollowed out like that and 
if I remember correctly, the blade was even hollowed out, but it's long gone. Haven't found it. So, and I forgot the 1990s uh, motors used normal looking thermostats. These Vortex have got a look like a dual spring thermostat. So, well, we're heading to the farm now to uh, get the 90 fixed and hopefully get it to stay cool. Hey, look at that. They're delivering my house the wrong way. They're going the wrong way. Oh, right here they come again. Uh, they're still going the wrong way. So, look at that. Be nice. Pull a couple of those in. Hey, Frey! Did you build those? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I can't believe how different I feel from I did last week. I do. I did. I don't. <laughs> yes, I said I do. I did. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go to the farm, put the thermostat in, run the 90 around for a little bit, make sure it stays cool, and, uh, Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, I gotta stop putting gas in the gas can so I can put gas in the truck to make sure it makes the town. I knew there was something else I was forgetting. So, yeah, I bought me an oil filter wrench to fit and probably should enough, but boy, you know, when you got a nice little knife like that, you don't know how much you miss it until it's gone. It wasn't a bad price, like eight bucks. My Gerber one was nice, her. It was free. Found it in my daughter's car. Maybe one of these days I'll remember to look that up and try and get another one of those. But anyhow, uh, let's go to the farm after we get some gas. Guys, it is just freaking gorgeous out. There's hardly any breeze. It's almost too humid now. But uh, yeah, we gotta get down in there and replace that thermostat. Uh, let's see, I guess I just want to have to pull the air cleaner, but, all right. But, uh, it is definitely a mud pit. Nobody in the fields today. So, all right. Okay, got that nut off the stud there. I know, everybody's probably going, we know how to do this, but, I like this, this is what I like about that socket there. See, you can see all the way through it. Let's see, put you guys, let's see what you guys are seeing. Really? Anyway, uh, where is it? Right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that's why, because I'm using a quarter inch drive. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's see. Now see, bigger hole. I am almost going to have to get the fan out here. It is, the sun's beating down. It's hot and it's, for me, oh, there's a little bit of a breeze. Thank you, God. Suck, I'm gonna get antifreeze all over. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, beautiful breeze. Thank you. I'm gonna lose a little antifreeze, but that's part of doing this, I guess. Uh -huh. Hmm. Oh, what a mess. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get a gasket scraper and that, so I'll be right back. Who wants to touch that thing? Who wants to give her a kiss? <laughs> 
Oh, hopefully I didn't screw up the threads. Ah, then I have to exhaust leak on the pickup. I don't have another oxygen sensor here like that, so I welded her shut. I'm gonna make that a plug for now until I can get the money to get a new oxygen sensor. But uh, get that plugged and uh, should be good to go. And then my daughter changed plans. I thought I had till three o'clock. Oh, well, meet me at the house now. Well, uh, she's just leaving work. She wants to load all her stuff up herself and. I said, you know, Dad's been having many strokes. Yeah, I know. Okay. She says, I can get it myself. So, sounds like she's going to do all the moving and not let him help do any. Anyway, I'll be nice. Be nice. Be nice, Sea Bear. Be nice. All right, well, I'm going to see if I can get that on. Find me a pair of gloves. See if I can get that screwed in there again. And start her up and yeah the thermo the old thermostat I took out usually you can see on the sides where it's cocked over and catching this one there's none of that but it's weird you can't you go to push it open and it's like uh, you gotta put a lot of pressure and then it snaps and goes so new thermostat seem to open up just like it's supposed to so I guess put some miles on the old uh, 90 now we'll use that today as you know, I just changed the oil on my 96 GMC. I've got about 900 miles to go, and it's already oil for, ready for an oil change, and I just changed that two weeks ago. Where the hell have I gone? A lot of trips for the brother-in-law. So, anyway, I'll let that cool off just a little bit more and put her back in, and I shouldn't have no more exhaust leaks under the hood. All right. Amazing how quiet it is now that I plugged that hole back there. So that's there. Got the pretty master circle filled. And quick little story on this rack that's in the back. My dad used to have a 75 GMC pickup. That's how he used to haul his hogs and cattle in that. Yes, cattle in the back end of a half ton pickup. But, uh, yeah. I'm making sure I got everything. I got to slide that out. And uh, we're going to go to town, put some more gas in, and go from there. Well, there it is. You can see the little chest I made her. She's, I think she's taking everything. Not like when my, my family moved out of the farmhouse. Nobody took all their stuff and left it behind. So, asked her to put a little more gas in the truck for me. So, uh, anyway, well, we're going to end up making a couple of trips. I want one of my TVs that I've got. I forgot to grab it, so. Alright. There's a little cedar chest and mater. out with her so she must like it good story. <laughs> good story oh that's what it was made for well yeah i know yeah i know and it's pretty yeah all right hey well, good morning this is the next day i guess it's gonna be two days in one after moving the kid over to our new place uh wife and i got sidetracked which we don't go out much and we did last night and it worked out pretty good that's all i'll say on that so things went a little better okay it is humid and when i was in town it was hot I was like, wow and yes i'm driving the 90. i'm like i got it running i want to have to turn my 96 gmc I'm tired of smelling gas. I can't find it. So, trailer might go out and we might put the 96 GMC in and remove the upper intake and see if there's an issue with the spider injection or what, but, and it seems to be going through more gas. So, something's not right. 
runs good, it's got all sorts of power, but it just smells gassy, and I'm sick of smelling gas. And the old 90, other than the brake line issue, <coughs> it's doing pretty good. Oil staying clean and full. I've gone uh, about 100 miles with it already. Uh, no weird bangs, conks, or nothing. Other than the rusty body, she's pretty good, and I think I might start looking for a rust-free box for this. And I get to find a rust-free box. Uh, and then replace the cab corners and rocker panels. This truck's got a lot of life left in it. So anyway, uh, we're going up to the brother-in-law's to finish up. I guess the bathroom's all painted. All the dirty work's done, so now we can lay the underlayment down. And he's using self-adhesive titles. Tiles, not titles. Tiles in the lower bathroom. So, I can get everything hooked up. Get the stool mounted for him. Told him I don't have any good PVC glue, so he'll have to have his plumber come back and hook up the stool. So, that's minor. But I forgot to eat with my medicine this morning, and I'm heading back to town to get, I'll get something to eat, and I forgot a nailer I need. I got a dual cordless nailer, so, finish nailer. Got the pipe in, and he got some pipes, so. <sighs> yeah, I guess. That should be the last trip up there for reworking his house. Now his house is pretty much done. And, uh, anyway, he ate some supper last night with the wife. and ooh, Didn't see some of it had green peppers. And you know, I like food with green pepper in it. But here lately, green pepper or pepper is not a green with me. So, anyhow, we'll get back down. I gotta get the windows open in here and it gets noisy because it's just enough humidity it's uh, sticky and it's too cold to go without a jacket but almost too warm to have one. Alright, let's go get her done boys and girls. Get her done. Oh, it's been a long day. But you remember the mess we had? Go get here. Cut. The new vanity in, new floors, there's where the stool's going, trim board's back in, the new corner. Just not that long ago this was a big old mess. So, there you go. Floor's nice and solid. <laughs> so this bathroom, uh, He's gonna have the plumber come and plumber cut the pipe too long, so let him deal with that. All we got left to do is run the water lines. And uh but yeah, big difference from the big holes he had, huh? It's pretty good in here again. So hey. Right. Can't remember, but I don't know if we had the trim boards on or not. I don't think so, but we do now. All that. So it's down other than his toilet and the water for the hookups. So, yeah. Alright, this will be then. I'm heading home and unload. So, talk to you guys later. Bye.